Well, believe it or believe it, because yes, I actually have some really excellent GPU news. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by FlexiSpot and their EA Dual Motor 3-Stage Bamboo Electric Standing Desk, available in a wide variety of sizes and colors. Fellas, I love FlexiSpot. I've been using it for years for pretty much all my reviews, and you might be asking why? Well, can you do this on your desk? Well, I certainly hope you don't, but on a FlexiSpot, I certainly did. Not only that, but with four adjustable height preset settings, as well as up and down options, there's a ton of different heights you can set this desk to, making it perfect for any working environment. And also, thanks to the elegant design, as well as beautiful bamboo that's incredibly strong, you can rest assured that it'll also look good in any environment and last a very, very long time, especially with the five-year FlexiSpot guarantee, which gives Gives you a 15 year coverage on the desk frame and motor and two year protection on the control panel and electronics. And the motors themselves are incredibly silent and can even lift this glass of water nearly flawlessly. So if you're interested in picking up a FlexiSpot E8 desk, be sure to click the affiliate links in the description below. So GPUs, they've been extremely expensive, but if you're someone who's been looking forward to more affordable graphics cards and better supply, well, you might want to watch this video because this first bit of information actually comes from videocards.com. And according to their post, quote, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5060 Ti 8GB rumored to cost $379, RTX 5060 Ti 16GB at $429. Now, the 8GB version, look, I'm not too sold on that card even at $379. It's just a $20 price drop versus last generation, and let's be honest, it's probably not going to bring that much more performance, and if all you're getting is multi-frame generation, that's going to be a pass for me. But the 16GB version, Fellas, this is actually really good. I know there's a lot of doom and gloom around the GPU space, but this card, I am telling you, is actually genuinely going to be probably the best RTX 50 series card that money can buy if this leak turns out to be true, which, you know, we'll see. This is a low price. I have my doubts, but if it's true... This is seriously going to be a good card because when you account for inflation at $429 for a 16 gigabyte card, you would effectively be getting a replacement for the 4060 Ti. It would effectively be roughly the same price, but you're getting 16 gigabytes of VRAM and hopefully a lot more performance. I'd love to see 30% more, but let's be honest, the 50 series hasn't been a huge increase. We'll have to wait and see. And in fact, there's actually some leaked information on that as well. But assuming that the performance increase is at least decent, getting way more memory, as well as all these new features would make the RTX 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte, not only the best RTX 50 series card, but this would actually just be straight up probably the best value card you can get, period. But what about the performance? Well, according to a WCCF Tech article, it looks like it's going to be around 14% faster than the 4060 Ti. Now, that's nothing to write home about, and who knows, this could also be false. Maybe we'll be looking at more than 20%. Maybe it'll be less than that. But assuming this is correct, let's just say 15% to make it easy. Again, this is actually going to be the first good graphics card you can buy, assuming you can buy it. And that's where the next bit of good information comes from, because everything that I just talked about wouldn't matter at all if you can't buy it. And with how crazy everything is right now, there's a lot of fear that you won't be able to buy this graphics card. But according to this information from PC Magazine, it looks like GPUs might not be affected by reciprocal tariffs. Now, from what I understand, it sounds like the actual GPUs coming from TSMC will likely not be affected by tariffs and should not change the price of the graphics card whatsoever. However, however, there is a chance that certain AIB models, if they are getting their coolers and PCBs from China, those could be affected. Now, how much does that impact the overall cost of the GPU? It's probably going to be a lot less than the GPU and memory itself, but it does play a part in the final cost. So when it comes to the actual pricing and availability of these cards, I think it's going to depend on a case by case basis. And this could ultimately change in a day based on what happens between China and the US. And that's something we can't 100% predict. But based on the current information, it's sounding like the pricing and availability for the 5060 Ti 16 gigabyte could end up being a lot better than than we were originally anticipating. And based on all the numbers that I've been crunching, it also sounds like pretty much all the RTX 
50 series cards based on recent sales data that I've been going over for months on end should actually, well, all the shortages anyway, should be coming to an end in two to three months on all GPUs, maybe outside of the RTX 5090. That one might last, you know, three months or a little bit longer than three months, but the 5080, the 5070 Ti, the 5070, and the 5060 Ti 16 gigabyte should actually all start to become readily available at MSRP very soon. Now, especially if you take a look at the RTX 5070, which seems to be the least sought after model, it's actually kind of technically available at MSRP. Now, to be fair, it's not the $550 buy a graphics card deal. I mean, I do see it pop up at 550 from time to time, but you can pretty much, it seems like at any point in time, buy it in a bundle, which is effectively making it $550. What this means is we are on the cusp of the 5070 being readily available at $550. Once the 5070 goes, you will see next the 5070 Ti, and then the 5080, as well as, you know, the new 5060 Ti, if this turns out to be all true, that should also be available. Hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers at $429, because at $429, not only is this effectively the same price as a $400 4060 Ti last time around, if you account for inflation, roughly, However, it's also actually a massive price drop versus the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte. The 16 gigabyte 4060 Ti was $499. This at $429 would be a $70 price drop. And in terms of actual percentage, that's pretty significant when you're talking $500 to $430. A lot more significant than a $70 price drop on say a $900 card. It's a big deal at this price point and is definitely the right direction for the GPU market as a whole. I'm just hoping it turns out to be true because to be honest with you guys, I think at $429, the 5060 Ti, again, would not only be the best 50 series card, but a genuinely good graphics card. So Nvidia, please go forward with the $429 price point. Don't let this just be a fake rumor because there's a lot of people out there who would really be looking forward to picking up this card. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that a 5060 Ti at $429 or a $70 price cut versus last generation is a good deal? Or do you feel like it's still just too expensive? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.